Hello everybody, this is my version of the beer can spirit stove, made in two minutes flat. First you got two cans, any two beer cans, not spirit cans, just beer cans. You cut them both off, as you will see, with a pair of scissors. Start in the centre and work your way to the, where you're going to cut, as the guy on the video showed. And then you just get, I used a, a pair of compasses and I just poke the holes all the way around this can in about half a minute flat. And then with the other half I've cut, I forced that small half into the top of the other half. It can be done, I'm used to doing it because I make enough stirring engines doing it. Then I cut the bottom out of another tin to make a piece that would go in the centre of that to stop the air coming out the middle of those middle holes there. You fill this up now with spirits. The idea of the middle holes is it, that it would drain into it. Now we need to get the fluid inside warm. So we, first I tip a bit of fluid on the hole, I stand the can on the hole and you set light to the bottom after placing that over the hole. Right, let's light it. Now that burning underneath now warms up the fluids inside the can. Spirit, you know, it's called a spirit, methylated spirits, because it burns below 60 degrees. I put the light off now so you can see how it's um, starting to burn around the side of the can warming up the inside of the can and after a few minutes away it goes and it's burning. I then took an old paint tin and stood around the outside of it. At first I thought it was going to work but then I realised there were no gaps on the top so I took it off. I cut some these in the top of it and I placed it back on. Now I must be all of five minutes into this <laughs> at this point. Then I quickly ran out of the house, I got myself a little saucepan, well I got a little bit of water and put in a small saucepan and within minutes it boiled. Really good. Then I thought right we we'll take the other half of the tin lid, which I did. I ain't got a frying pan. That's all I did, I grated the top of that look with a pair of scissors, it takes seconds to do it and that allows the air and the flame to burn out. Anyway, as I was saying, I took the lid from the other half of the lid. That tin, by the way, is what I buy my cutting discs in, by ten at a time. A little bit of fat. Sorry I can't show you me breaking the egg on the side of it, it's a very light lid. But I cracked the egg into the lid, and within minutes, I had a fried egg. As I said, I copied this, so I've seen this this morning on YouTube I just had to make one and play around and as always once I did it I had to make a little video and show you how simple this is so fair play to the chaps that put the original videos on great fun and easy and so fast to make I made mine about two minutes flat with the messing about with the out bits and cooking a uh, egg must have took all of 10 minutes 11 12 minutes so anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Just another vi video to add to me uh, list of uh, videos, endless videos. Thanks for watching. Pete out. Enjoy your meal.